Hello, this is Dixie Cravens here to show you a, another fun Tim Holtzy style project that I've been working on. This is the tag. This is an embossed and painted tag and I have dry embossed it and painted it with Distress Paints. So here's my mess of tools. You can see that I'm going to start out with that tattered flowers die. I've already cut it. And then here is the Sizzix folder by Tim Holtz called Collage that I'm going to use to dry emboss this tag. I'm going to move everything out of the way and add some color first. Broken China Distress Ink. And I'm just using it direct to paper because I want to get a lot of color. And the texture that it happens actually adds to the project. It's kind of cool. So I'm just filling in some of those um, blank spots with the blending tool. Just trying to get a lot of color on this tag. But you can see I still have a lot of texture. And you'll see once we emboss it that that texture really kind of fades in the background, but it, it adds an, another layer of interest. So now I'm going to use the walnut stain and I'm going to edge it just to pull your eye to the center. And then I'm also going to pull some of the walnut stain into the tag just to help age it and distress it some more. And I am just kind of randomly hitting those lighter spots not really thinking too hard about what I'm doing, just putting down color. And then I'm going to hit it real lightly with some water just to activate the ink and let it blend a little bit. And then I'm not going to dry it, I'm going to stick it right in the folder, slightly damp, and it will really take that embossing. So I've embossed it and you really can't see the texture yet, but I am going to add a little bit of the walnut stain, got a little bit of water to it, and put it on with my brayer. It just adds some darkness to those um, raised areas without getting a bunch of ink down onto the base of the tag. And I wanted that under my paint because just in case the paint goes on lightly or something, it, it adds another level of color. So here's the tarnished brass distress paint. You really need to shake them up well. I'm putting it on my mat because I'm going to apply it again with the brayer. A little bit of the brush pewter just to um, soften up that and maybe age that um, brass color a little bit. And so I'm really loading up my brayer and I'm just going to start rolling it on in every direction. Just trying to get all of those raised areas. And I am using a light touch and that's why I can just repeatedly roll it on. See, I'm trying to use up all that paint and I'm just rolling it on and rolling it on and moving it around so I can get it from every angle. I really want the paint to shine and you, you need a good layer of paint to get that shine. And then I am going to clean this up quickly. You can clean it up with water, it cleans up easily. Once it dries, it's not as easy to clean up, but of course everything cleans off of these nonstick mats. But I just like to take a second and clean everything up quickly. And so my tag is finished and I'm going to set it aside to dry while I work on adding color to those tattered flowers that I cut out previously. So I'm going to add Distress Stains because they add color so quickly. This is Peacock Feathers Distress Stain and I'm going to add it all around. I'm not too worried about filling it in completely. I'm going to bring in some of that tarnished brass and with the, these Distress Stains, the metallic Distress, distress Stains, you need to shake them up. And I'm going to hit it with some water and help those colors kind of blend. And I'm thinking, man, I need some more paint on there, so I'm going to just go in and, and dab it on. And then I am going to scrunch up this flower because I want it to have all of those folds in it because I'm going to highlight them with the walnut stain ink. And I just went and picked up the rest of the ink with the back of the flower just in case any of it shows. And so I'm just going to gently, carefully unfold this flower. And as I unfold it, I'm going to add more wrinkles as I see that the petals need them. But I am being gentle so that I don't rip any of those petals off. And then I'm going to come in with this second flower. I wanted to use a lighter blue, so I'm using Broken China Distress Stain. This one's going to layer on top of the other one. And then this time I'm going to use more tarnished brass just to help it be lighter in general. And again, I'm going to spray it with water so I'm not concerned about hitting every spot. 
but then I'll go back in the really light spots and hit it with some more of that tarnished brass. And this one I am not going to crumple it up in my hand because the petals are just too delicate so I'm hand or finger pinching it and giving it some folds very carefully but I'll speed it up because it does take a minute. And I took them off to dry them really quickly with the heat tool so they would stiffen back up and not be so delicate. And then I want to add some dimension with the distress stain, I mean the distress ink, walnut stain. Just adding it around the edges. And then I'm going to add it along those wrinkles, try to help bring them out, give the color some depth and some darkness. I'm going to repeat with the second flower. Again, this one takes a minute because it has so many little fine petals that you have to be careful with. But the dimension that that, that adds is just incredible. I'm still not happy with the color of that largest flower and I'll go back and add some more ink to it. I'm really wanting it to be dark. And this is the wood veneer heart by Studio Calico. It came in a package with some hearts and arrows and I've just colored it quickly with that um, walnut stain ink. And see here I'm adding some more pine, I mean, peacock feathers distress stain because I really wanted it to be darker. And I went and dried it real quick and now I'm trying to add the brown fold uh, marking back into it. So I'm ready to glue everything together right after I add a little bit more brown and I can't believe that I did this on camera. I went and stuck my foam right down and made a big old rectangle right in the middle of my tag. And I knew that's where my flower was going to sit, but it's like, oh, I can't believe I made this mistake on camera. So I'm going to hit it with a little bit of water and see if it will help it um, move out a little bit, but it doesn't really help, so good thing the flower's going there. So the moral of the story is press gently and spin. Don't just stamp your your um your tool down, your foam tool. That's the glossy accents. That is my favorite liquid adhesive because boy, it sticks anything and it sticks it well. There we go, and my camera battery is giving up on me, so I'm going to show you real quick the seam binding that I'm going to use and then we'll have to pick, finish this up in picture format. But I am going to color the seam binding to match my tag using the distress stains that I used. So here's the broken china distress stain and then I added the tarnished brass distress stain and then I quickly sprayed it pretty good with water to help the inks flow and then I scrunched it up which helps the inks transfer and it scrunches that tag. And so if you'll dry it without straightening it, you get that wonderful scrunched look. Well, thank you for watching. Again, this is Dixie Cravens with DC Papercraft. Follow me.